Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, brother. How are Wa you? Wa alaikum What do you want to say, Mr. Shafiq? Um, nothing uh, specific, really. It was my friend who is uh, requested that I uh, speak with you tonight. All right. Now, um, so no problem. Let us let us let us let us open is, the conversation uh, this way. Let, let, let us let us uh, let, let us open the okay, conversation okay. this way to make it easier for you. Sure. As long as you said you are a Muslim, why? What make you Muslim? What does that mean? I mean, why you believe Islam is a true religion? Um, it makes the it makes the most sense. What makes sense Towards, about it? That if you go oh, to heaven, Allah will give you a lot of women for sex. Does that make sense? No, but that's just the uh, male like uh, uh a pleasure of of the male you know what i'm saying yeah but uh, so, but but uh, the pleasure of the male what about the pleasure of the female now uh brother i am not a very well versed muslim mm -hmm. but uh let's let's go back to your original statement of uh, why it makes the most sense okay so mm -hmm. in my opinion okay mm -hmm. um <clears throat> Islam makes the most sense because in Christianity it is, you know, you need Jesus to be saved because Jesus died for your sins, correct? Mm -hmm. So what about um, Adam when he went against God's word? Did God not give Adam the ability to ask for forgiveness? So that by itself means that humans were granted forgiveness from the very beginning. Is that not correct? No problem, I'm listening. So why is it that Christianity mm -hmm. says that you need Jesus for forgiveness when God has allowed okay. Adam? Let me ask you first. Your sure. God, Allah, he forgive Adam when he was okay, in heaven. Let, yes let me no? stop you there. It's not, it's not my God. Allah is God. No, no, it's, it's not. You know, this is your God. Come on, you know, don't. don't how is it my? Don't. How is it's your my God. God? I will prove it to you. I will prove it. My God, don't have a virgin in the heaven. Your God have virgins. We can't. We can't have the same God, but we have to different we, heaven. We worship. Okay. No. So no, no. Let us go. Let us not to change the topic. We can go. We, we can go. We can go later to see who is your God, who is my God. No problem. No, but no, let I'm us not, talk about. Let us talk about Adam, my friend. Your God, Allah, He for He He forgive Adam. When he commits okay, sin, you keep saying, "My God, uh, my God, Allah." Are you going so, to stuck with this word? Are, are you going to allow me to have a conversation with you? I allow you to say whatever you want. Let me say yeah, whatever I want. Yeah, you know, but I want. Are you going to force off. me? Are you going to force me to say that your God is my God? Is that what you want? Be, okay, one God. No, no, right? there's no one God. There's one no one God. God. There's no one God. There's no one God. There's many God. There's Shaitan is God. Money is God. Sex is God. Penis is God. Everybody worships something. Now you Maybe worship you. and you worship one. His name is Allah. Let us see who is he. Let me ask you, you said that Allah, that Adam, he, he was allowed to ask Allah for forgiveness. Did Allah, is, did Allah forgive Adam? Did Allah forgive, uh, forgive Adam? For going against his word, yes. Okay, why didn't he kick him out from heaven? Because he went against their word. But you just, you just said he forgave him. That is correct, yes. And you are the one who said that Islam makes sense. If I forgive you, I kick you out of my house? If you know somebody mm. has done wrong, mm. right? Mm. Forgiveness is not letting them come back, but forgiveness is acknowledging that they have done wrong really and 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 letting you just say to me my friend hold on hold on you are the one who said to me in order to be saved you have to believe in jesus so you can be Christians. saved yeah so you are you saying to me so so why you are asking allah for forgiveness uh, is, is that will give you bring you to heaven or will it will keep you out of heaven if you ask allah for forgiveness Do you hear me? Hello? Yeah.
You ask Allah for you, you, you ask Allah for forgiveness. No problem. You ask Allah for forgiveness. Is that to go back to heaven or no? First of all, we haven't reached heaven, so how can I go? There's back another to question. Heaven? There's another question. Why you ask Allah for forgiveness? Is that because if you, if Allah forgive you, it will make you go to heaven, or just like a ritual thing? You ask for forgiveness, and we don't go to heaven still. Because man inherently has will. And because has of what? will has what? Will. What you will? know will? No, you don't w -I No, Islam does not believe in will. You mean a free will? Yes, yes. No. We're we're allowed okay. to have No, you are not allowed. No, you're not allowed. You know, as long as we are talking about Adam, Adam when he commits sin, is that the sin Allah he forced him to do, or it was a choice of Adam? Oh boy. Are you there? Hello? <coughs> Hello? Yeah. I was saying to you, was Adam a person who commits sin by his free will or Allah forced him to commit sin? It was free will. Where do you get this from? Do you have a proof? No, I don't. So, in okay, well, uh, well I have I have different proof. Here we go. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih. You're a prophet saying, and this is Sahih al Bukhari saying that the prophet said uh, that Adam and Musa they argued with each other. Musa says to Adam, Adam, oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, oh Musa. Allah favored you with his words with his talk and talked to you directly and he wrote the Torah for you With his own hand and guys here remember we were talking about the that he said the Torah the Torah was inspiration only correct You remember? The that the stupid did that he was saying just a few minutes ago that the Torah is not a book It was only words inspiration, but look what Muhammad said he wrote for him the Torah with his own hands. Muhammad is getting did that busted again. And then um, uh, uh, Adam he said to Musa, Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? What do you say about that? Adam uh, Adam saying to Musa, You cannot blame me. This is what Allah wrote for me. Okay, you said it's Sahih, so it's I found authentic. Yeah. And it, like to, um, I would like to research this for myself. No so problem. Please tell me. This is Sahih um, Bukhari, okay. Hadith number Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number six six one four, and I'm showing it in the screen actually. If you are looking at the screen with me in YouTube, you can six, see it. Six six nine four. No, okay. six six one four. Sorry, 6614. Yeah, okay. and I can give it to you from different hadith, not, not only from this. And this is also Sahih. We can give it to, to you from uh, uh, Sunan Ibn Dawood. And this is Sahih. Everybody can see in the screen. Sunan Ibn Dawood, hadith number 4701. And it says it clearly there. It says Sahih. And you will see here it says, Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before my creation? So, you cannot say to me that you as a Muslims have a free will and here we go back to zero You said to me Islam makes sense how it makes sense that Adam was kicked out from heaven If Allah is the one who wrote the sin of Adam for Adam and Adam is forced to do sin And then Allah asked him to ask for forgiveness and then after he forgave him he kicked him out Which means this is the whole thing is madness. Adam is a poor guy. He's a victim Allah he write for him. You should do sin as you see with me in the screen. It says it clearly as a, de a decree that I should do, I should do 40 years before he created me. So Allah, he wrote to Adam, you should do this 40 years before your creation. Okay. And then Adam, he commit that as Allah, he ordered him to do because this is his destiny. And then after Adam, he did that. Allah, he asked him to ask for forgiveness. So Adam, he prayed to Allah says, I forgive me, please Allah. So Allah forgive him. And then still he kick him out. What is the make sense for you here? Brother, I'm going to have to research uh, this topic furthermore. Mm -hmm. uh, I went back to your screen on YouTube, mm -hmm. 
And uh, I, I don't see anything right now. Guys, don't you see the screen? Refresh the page, uh, please. Refresh the page. Maybe you refresh the page, you will see it. <laughs> And not, okay, so and not so, only that, and not only that, okay, my, so, my, my friend, my, not only that, your prophet he said that Adam he won the argument to make it more horrible. Not only your prophet he is making a statement that this is a debate happening between them, your prophet he said clearly that Adam he won the debate. In the Sahih of Al Bukhari, it says the prophet added repeating the statement three times. What he repeated. So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses three times, which means Adam was right and Moses was wrong. Where does that make sense here? You make me make do sin, and then you punish me for the sin you made me do. Is that is that fair? Is that justice? So there are some things that. As a human, we do not have the ability to understand. All right. Now, suddenly, suddenly, now, suddenly, we as a human, we are donkeys. We don't understand. My friend, what we don't understand? It's a debate between two guys, and obviously, your prophet taking a side of Adam, and he understand, and I understand. Now, you are you are the one who don't understand. He said to him that Allah, He wrote for me in my destiny forty years before my creation, and your prophet agree with him. Suddenly, now you don't understand. No, I said that as humans, there are some things that we were made to not fully understand. Now, brother, like I said before, I am not a learned man of the Quran mm. as uh, you might. And I might not have the resources mm. to understand like you My have. My friend, you don't need to have resources. I just gave you what your prophet said. What do you say about that? Here we go. This is the resources in front of us. I provide you with resources. And he said that Adam, he won the debate. And Adam, you cannot blame him for doing sin because this is what Allah wrote for him. So what kind of religion believe that Adam, he was a victim of Allah. Allah, he made him do sin. And then Allah, he punished him for doing sin. And then Allah asked him to ask for forgiveness so he might forgive him. And then so Adam, where, he asked for where's forgiveness. the proof that where is the proof that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forced Adam into sin? It's in the front of you. Where, this is your prophet. Are you saying your, your prophet is a liar? No, go back onto your screen and show me the proof. Here we go. It's in the screen, my friend. Don't you see the screen? People in the chat, do you see the screen or not? You said it's uh, Sahih Bukhari. Yeah. 6614. Sahih Bukhari. Yes, 6614. And the, I will show you the reference in the screen. Here we go. And, and what um, what website are you on, brother? This is sunnah.com. This is your Islamic website. Here we go. Sunnah.com. Okay, perfect. Hmm. So now what we will do? What kind of God this God is? And not only in Sahih Bukhari. This is a very well-known hadith. It's repeated in Sahih Bukhari actually more than once time, one time, three times, or four times. And same in Sunan Ibn Dawood, which is a Sahih too. And same in Sunan Ibn Majah, which is Sahih too. And same as in Sahih Muslim, which is Sahih too. So what we will do now? Okay, so let's look at the uh, the next page. What next page? So after Hadith number six eleven, let's look at six twelve because this is taken out of context. We don't know exactly. Where this falls into, my friend. What next page? What out of context? What are you talking about? Each hadith is separated as a story by itself. It's not a story. The prophet was talking like a machine and stop. And here the story is ended. The debate is ended. There's th there's two guys. We give the microphone for the first one. His name is Musa. We give the microphone to the second one. His name is Adam. 
Musa says to Adam because of you we are out of heaven Adam says to Musa, you blame me for something Allah wrote for me in my destiny 40 years before he created me Adam he won the debate Adam he won the debate Adam won the debate your prophet said so what out of context I honestly don't know. This is uh, this is all new to me, brother. So no I, problem, no problem. Let us let me I ask you. Let us uh, let us say book. let us see that you are you are a person who follow uh, uh, what makes sense, correct? It makes sense for you that in the heaven of Allah, Allah will give you boys who they are going to serve you. Does that make sense to you? If that's what, if that's what's uh, best for me, then yeah. No, but what what is the sense here? Because in the heaven of Allah, your prophet said, if you wish, if you wish something is going to be in the front of you in a second, and you will never get dirty, you will never do laundry, you will never take a shower, you will never piss, you will never have garbage. So what the boys would do? What exactly the boys would do? Imagine I have a house. If I wish food is going to be in my table in front of me, nobody will bring it. If I wish anything is going to be in the front of me and there's no garbage left. Yeah. And my clothes, is, my clothes will never get dirty. Say. My clothes will never get dirty. My clothes will never will be, no, never be ruined. They will never have wrinkles. And I will never sweat. I will never take a shower. I will never piss and nothing. There's no dirt. So what the boys will do? Yes, brother. But what if this is a metaphor for somebody that desired boys not the literal sense of that the boys will serve you but to have offspring no my friend are... in the heaven in the heaven of allah there's nobody is going to have uh, children however your prophet he said if you desire to have boys in the heaven you are going to be bread net and you will deliver it in less than 20 minutes yeah, that's um, who knows, right? We're not in heaven. No, I know, I know, because your prophet said, my friend, don't tell me who knows. You see, when your prophet he said, he just said, said that. Read with me. This is Sunnah Ibn Majah. He said, when the believer want a child in paradise, he will be conceived and born and growing up and short while according to his desire. In different hadith, it says that the believer, when he desire a child in paradise, he shall be carried in the pregnancy born and complete with his egging in an hour of his desire so which mean you desire to have a child you will get a bread net and then you will deliver the child you not your wife you will you will be bread net you will deliver the child and your child will have teeth and long hair in less than an hour and sa in arabic at that time is equal to 15 minutes so you will be bread net you deliver the child and this is not the promise about the, the children who will go around you the boys the young boys who will be serving you so don't mix things up and here, does, I'm not. Does that I'm make, brother, I'm not. But let's, my friend, let's, does, does that make sense to you that you will deliver a talking. child? Does that make let's sense stop, to you that you will deliver a child in the heaven? You will be pregnant and deliver a child. Does that make sense? Brother, we're not in heaven, right? Doesn't matter. So, Your prophet saying what the heaven is. He said, in the heaven, you will have you will be pregnant and you will deliver a child. Does that make sense to you? Are we in heaven right now? Can I'm not talking say, about now. I'm talking. To, he said to you what will happen to you. What's wrong with you, my friend? He just said. Yes, but does heaven, heaven make sense in this world? My friend, you will have. You will be. But does net. heaven make sense in this world? The, 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 no, nothing makes sense here because. Okay, uh, then how can but, we because because in in the heaven in the heaven you will be a male or a female, my friend. Okay, and in heaven you don't have to work or get dirty. There's another question. Hungry. There's another question. In the heaven of Allah, when you go, do you stay male or Allah will change your gender? I don't know. Do you? Well, yeah, I know because he promised you. He promised the men that they will have females to have sex with them. So obviously you will stay as a male. So how you will stay as a male and then you will get a bread net and you will deliver a child. Where the child will come from? From the anus? I don't know. Do you? 
Maybe you tell me. I, I'm brother, asking you. You're the Muslim, not me. <laughs> because brother, but you are more learned than me. You are more knowledgeable. My friend, than me, uh, you, you should educate I, I, me. I can. I, I, he, obviously, there is where 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 a, where a baby can come from. I mean, this is stupid. There's no way it can come out because you cannot you cannot do poop. Yes, but the you cannot, sense that you you're cannot, talking right you now cannot is, poop. The, is, is you cannot, relevant to here on earth. Yes. Where so you are saying to me, to okay? Are you so this, this, why asking you, this why I'm asking but you? This why I'm asking you. Are you? Are you saying, my friend? Heaven is a different realm. Is this why I'm asking you. Reality, the laws of heaven. Do what not reality? There's nothing reality the there. There's nothing reality. You, when you say to me, you will deliver a child, then then he have to make a vagina for you. That's mean you are not a male. You are a female. Yes, but childbirth and child labor and just the conception is a very worldly thing now in heaven there are no connections to this world is that not correct there's no connection to this world what what, what do you mean that everything in islamic heaven is is have a connection for this world you have a penis you yes but sex, you said oh you will have you said where is it going to come out of my the friend anus. my friend yeah but everything how do you in know heaven. that god cannot just conjure something mm. before your eyes okay but he said to you you will be bread net he did use he did use you the, the word bread net he, he did and you you desire and you will deliver and then the the boy will have a, a, a hair and will have uh, teeth so now it's time for delivery delivery will be from where from your mouth your mouth knows additional so in the quote you said he shall be carried and then in quotations in pregnancy now is in pregnancy in the literal yes narration because this is literal baby isn't it baby is that no, a, but is that a metaphorical baby or this is a real baby right now it says he shall be killed yes in arabic it says they see they see this is a translation in arabic it says hamluhu which means being breathnet <laughs> are you there boy are you there okay okay Yes, yes, I'm here, but okay, brother. So, so you okay in the verse? So let us go. For, forget chosen. about this. Forget about this. Well, give me no, one because thing. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to speak more about this because it's now become apparent to me. That we are now trying to use worldly uh, attributes in heaven, which uh -huh. does not work like well, that. Well, why? Okay? Why aren't you in the heaven? Are you going to stay a man physically, or you will be a man spiritually there? Is your penis will be a spiritual penis in heaven or will be a real penis? As in in the uh, reproductive mm -hmm. sense or in the anything, uh, anything. What what pleasure. what will change on you? Nothing will change in the heaven. The only thing will happen. You are going to be more sexual. Your prophet he said you will have seventy years orgasm, and your penis will be endless. So what, yes, what these is, are all, these are all metaphorical. This things, is not brother. metaphorical. Are, what do you mean? Okay, give me the metaphorical of endless penis. It is as is it is a, it is to say that your desires my friend no 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 in this penis is, is not endless, he can he can say in this desire because in this penis is not in this desire when you when I say you have an in this penis what is the metaphorical for give me give me a reason okay you're saying that the pregnancy and the carrying of the child and in the act of, you know, um, reproduction or sex or whatever, you know, these are all things that are relevant to here on this earth, in this world. But when we speak about heaven, this is something that is not relevant to the laws and to the nature of this world. Is what, that not what, correct? My friend, what is the nature of the world have to do? I mean, what the difference between the nature of this world and nature of heaven? Because heaven is not of this world. Okay, the heaven, no, the heaven of your God is the same as this world. Nothing changed. Okay, you will, okay, okay, okay let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Are you going? Are you going to how eat? Can, how do you can have food there? Born? Do you have food there? Do you have food there? Yes or no? Do you have food in I, the heaven? I don't of know. I don't what, know. What do you mean you do, don't know? Do is, we? Isn't it? Is, yeah. Is, isn't it the Quran described for you that you will have an open buffet, and this buffet have only bird meat? right only bird meat so in the heaven you have and what you will have you will have a, a certain kind of food and uh, you will eat it and you have a fruit 
and only he described for you a couch and fruits and the grape and the wine and milk. So what is different? All those things we have in here in Las Vegas. Yes, but in heaven, do you do you die in heaven? Well, I, I, I believe you will you will die in heaven more than in earth. Do you so are you so so what I'm trying to understand right now is why you continue to use law like you know like uh, I want to say like worldly attributes to something that is that is not even relevant to my friend it's not me it's not me who is saying that it's your prophet he says yes but you are you, you were taking in the, in the but, earth, okay, in the earth says, we have orgasm says, your prophet he said orgasm carried, right carried and then in the in the quotations it says in pregnancy now is that in the narration this is something that i believe <laughs> is you know a human nature to make sense of things that we do not understand okay let, right? me, let me ask let me ask mr mr sure. you don't understand mr you don't understand what kind of women you will have in heaven are they real women or plastic or silicone um i don't know what do you mean if, you don't know? if, if, if somebody desires to have i i don't know hmm. if it's real if, if you desire real women then of course you'll have real women okay what if you desire plastic women you will have re re plastic women too sex toys let us say oh sex toys then hmm. you will... i don't know if that's if that's what you desire then sure but hmm. why would you need to go to such a low form uh, in an inanimate object for your pleasure hmm. when you're in heaven anything that you desire hmm. is yours but okay so this whole conversation and topic that we're on about heaven you keep bringing back things that are relevant here and then trying to assert them in heaven okay brother first let's come to a common ground that what happens in heaven is not bound by human things okay. and by I want, human you, I want you to read this verse for me this hadith for me sure because you are saying if we speak about sex toys it's a low human form so why your prophet the promise knew that saying that in the mark in the heaven there's a market of sex toys and those sex toys they come into reality when you sleep with them they are images of men and women and then you jump inside the image and you have sex with the man or the women and the customers are men so you are a man who go inside that store of playboy magazine they have images of men and women then you like an image that is say of michael jackson okay then so this is once again i believe a metaphorical thing metaphorical. if you desired a woman with blue hair and 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 gold eyes with uh, gold skin my friend and, my friend don't, and don't, if you don't, want that don't go though, don't go don't go it. hold on hold on it says images of men and women what metaphorical about it images in the heaven in the paradise there's a market what is the market metaphorical for go ahead try your best there's a market market as in what we understand as when we go into the store there are shelves and aisles <laughs> lined with goods and merchandise right so in that sense for us as humans to understand hmm. what God is conveying is your God Allah speaking to, to you uh, Allah speaking to you and you are a human right so and he's using the word market if it's not market he will not say market he don't have to say market he can say something else yeah but this is something that humans can understand no and, problem thank you very recognize. much so this is a human can understand so Allah is choosing the correct word he chose market because this is what it is market and what is inside the market there's no buying nor selling except which means there's buying and selling so in this market, it's a real market because now we are talking about buying and selling. Selling what? And buying what? Images. It says it's images in 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 the in the in the in the verse that you have on your screen right now. Mm. It says, <laughs> uh, uh, "Indeed, in paradise there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except of uh, images of men and women." So whenever a man desires an image, he enters it. Okay. So from this, I deduced that 
the market is similar to when we go into a store, right? We can understand that there are literal hundreds of choices, if not thousands of choices, mm -hmm. options everywhere, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. So when we desire something, we can easily go into this metaphorical market, choose what we like, and enter it. Like, have you ever played uh, like Super Mario, where you enter this picture on the wall, and now you're in this other world? So I think that is a metaphorical thing, used so we can better understand. My friend, you are a man, and you will desire a man. Explain that to me, the metaphorical of it. You are a man, and you will desire an image of a man. What does that mean? Yes, but does it say anywhere that if there's going to be... Um, uh, that they will have sex. Yeah, this is about sex because this is about sex description of paradise in the heaven What you, you would desire the image of the man to do what with it exactly exactly what you would do you tell me I don't know you tell me You're the this one is about that sex. This the whole up. thing is about sex The whole where thing is about say? sex. Where does it? Where does it because you desire it desire, desire is a star desire in Arabic in Arabic my friend you see the translation ah. says desire in Arabic It says a star is a sexual desire. So if you star star what is a man? So if I if I do if I have a desire for a fruit I obviously I want to eat it if I have a desire for a woman obviously I want to have sex with it so when we say that is the, the, that is that is that true for everyone though what if a man desires my friend you tell me you tell me you desire a you desire a man what what conversation what are you talking about Allah will send you to heaven to have a conversation with a man <laughs> if you desire you are if funny you my friend. You, friend you are funny okay okay my friend you are very funny now let me let so until now we did not find one thing makes sense in islam you you call me uh, uh 15 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago and you said to me Islam makes sense but until now i could not one yes, find one me, thing because, makes sense because let because me ask I'm you okay it, listen because listen i'm comparing it to christianity no. let's go back to my first point where you need jesus jesus for forgiveness mm. i said it right there so if we need Jesus for forgiveness, then how did God allow Adam to ask for forgiveness and then be granted the forgiveness? You see, now, the you, see you forgot, you forgot that Jesus, we, okay, hold on. You forgot that for us, Jesus, hold on. You forgot that when you ask God for forgiveness is the same as asking Jesus for forgiveness for us. Jesus is God. Maybe you forgot that. Where does, Jesus, it say, where does it say Jesus is God? Well, where does it say Jesus? even in the Quran, I can prove it to you. What do you say if I show it to so you from the Quran? Says, or does or does Jesus Jesus say to ask my father? Okay, why would you want to worship the guy that's going to ask his father for permission? Why not just where ask where, the where it says where it says that Jesus he will ask his father for forgiveness? What do you mean? What do you mean is that? What do you mean he asking for forgiveness or or, or for permission? What where it says that? Uh, brother, did, I, uh, did Jesus forgive sin in the Bible? I don't know. Did he? Yes. <laughs> sure. Okay. So, brother, this is, like this I said, is why. This is why. This is why. Uh, 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 the, the Jews they wanted to kill him because the, this person is speaking as if he's God. You know, if you go to Luke chapter seven, verse number 80, uh, 48, 48, I think. It says, then Jesus says to her, your sin are to be forgiven. And that can be, uh, you know, mentioned many other chapters in, in, in the Bible. In, in Matthew chapter 9, verse, uh, uh, let me remember, chapter 9, verse number 5. It's, uh, you know, when when uh, when he said that your sin is forgiven, and the Jews, they were looking at him, and they said, this guy is, is talking about your sin is forgiven. So Jesus says to them, which one which one is easier to say to him your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk get up and walk so the jews that they could not take it that he is saying to the person your sin is forgiven and jesus he wanted to show them that not only i have authority to forgive sin for i am god and earth here we go which one is easier to say to him your sin is forgiven or say to the man who cannot walk okay carry your bed and walk the guy is in this bed he cannot walk he carry his bed and walk Okay, so you're saying that Jesus, peace be upon him, is God, right? Absolutely. Now, how can Jesus, peace be upon him, if he is God, then how could he have died? If okay, so okay, let, reject, let me answer you. Let me answer you. So you are saying that if Jesus, okay, if you are saying, okay, you are saying if Jesus is God, he should not die, correct? 
That is correct. Okay, that's mean Jesus is God in Islam because in Islam, uh, Jesus until now did not die. Jesus had the holy ascension. He was uh, no, no, no. Don't change your topic. Great. You are the one who said to me, if Jesus do not die, we will believe in him that he is God. No, that is not that. that well, you are the one who said to me that you, say, you no, you are the one who said to me, we as a Muslim will reject Jesus to, to die. And then you said to me, how God can die? Then I said to you, well, if this is the case, then in Islam, Jesus must be God because Jesus did not die until now, since 2000 years ago. Same time, Jesus, when you say to Jesus, me, who, no, no, hold on. When you say to, to me, when you, when you say to me, hold on, hold, hold on. When you say to me, God die, who said to you that? Who said to you that God died? The Christians don't. They no, say we that don't. Jesus no, we don't say that. Cross? No, we don't say that. God is always alive, never die. Yeah, but, of course. Same as same as us Muslims. No, your believe. Muslim is dead already. He never been alive. Our God is always alive. Your God never alive. And I'll prove it to you. When we say that Jesus was a crucified, they killed the flesh of Jesus. But the, but the existence of Christ is long before the flesh. This is why Jesus said, before Abraham I am. So before Abraham I am, he was exist, even though there's no flesh of Jesus exist, exist yes. So that means his existence have nothing to do with the existence of the flesh. So they killed the flesh, but the existence of Christ is still have nothing to do with it. So they killed the flesh of the man, but they cannot kill God. Nobody can kill God. Jesus, he showed them that even if you kill me, even if you take me to the grave as a flesh, I come back to you for I am God and nobody can overcome God. Now your God, okay. your God never been alive. Prove to me that your God is alive. Can you prove it? We can't. It, this, this is something. This is something I believe is called, you know, the leap of faith. Okay, you can't be a believer without fully having faith. Okay, in the fact let me that ask God you. God is here. Let me ask you. Your living God can he say stupid things or always he says smart stuff? Okay, brother. So, is your is I your am, God is a smart God or a stupid God? Of course, he is the all knowing. Okay, the all knowing. How much he do not know that the women she don't have a sperm, and he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Where where are you getting this from? This is a chapter eighty six, verse number six and seven. You can read the whole chapter if you want. Okay, brother. So I am I, I am very intrigued. Unfortunately, I'm not right now. I would love to have our conversations with you because as I am speaking with you, it is uh, helping me learn, and I'm becoming educated. I am I have not finished the Quran, not even a, a tenth of it, let alone the Bible. So speaking with you, it has uh, educated me a lot. There are some things that I would like to talk more upon, and there are things that I would like to learn more from. So we will save our conversations for another night. I want to thank you for this talk. But before I leave, I just want to know where in the Bible or in any scriptures does, it, does Jesus, peace be upon him, say, I am God, worship me. I can show you tons of verses, but you are saying you want to leave. Sadly, yes, I have, to, I have to go, brother. I okay, am, no problem. In front of, you I, see, I, I don't I, know. I, like, you have time to listen about Jesus where he said, I am God. I can show you tons of places. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, which means not everyone, but there is many who say to me, God, God. So Jesus said many places. Jesus said to the Jews, what do you say of a Christ? They said he's son of David. And then he said to them, if he is a son of David, then how David call him my Lord Jehovah. So yes, my friend, they lie to you and they say to you, Jesus, nowhere in the Bible says he is God. Muslims are copy-paste, but nobody, they do not know their own book. They do not know our book. And then they want to school us about their book and our book. That's wrong. And as you see, you know nothing about your Quran. And yet you repeat the same questions Muslims, they ask us, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Why? Because nobody want to see. It's in the front of us. The whole Bible is saying that Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. <laughs> the whole Bible, you know. And when and when Jesus now, I just quote for you the verse in, in Matthew as an example. In Matthew chapter 9, verse number 5, when Jesus said to the Jews, and verse number 5 and 6, uh, uh, that's, uh, 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 you know, I forgive the sin of this person. And the Jews, they were wondering how he can forgive his sin. Now, if I ask you, who can forgive sin? Can you forgive sin? No. Can Muhammad forgive sin? No. Can I forgive sin? No. Who is the one who forgives sin? God. Jesus forgives sin, and not only that, he has power over, over nature. He said to the man, carry your bed and walk. So 
don't be the same as the Jews and don't be the same as the Muslims who they are copy paste and they have no idea what they are talking about Jesus was crucified for he claimed to be God not for he claimed to be a prophet Because he did everything a prophet can do even more. He did amazing miracles. So why he will be killed doesn't make sense They wanted to crucify him for a reason because he committed a crime. What is the crime? Okay, so brother you said it was uh, It was uh, it was John verse number five what John number five? No, Matthew number chapter nine, verse number uh, four and five and six. We can read them. In in the book of John. In book of Matthew. Okay, in book of Matthew. <coughs> okay, book of Matthew. <coughs> uh, repeat that one more time. About the sin, yeah. Right? Are talking about the sin? Oh uh, no, where Jesus said that I am God. Uh, Matthew chapter number one. There is many verses Jesus speaking about I am God. All of them. Yes, but specifically you see, okay, Matthew. Okay, you, you 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 want me? You want me to show you verses Jesus saying I am God, like just saying I am God, right? It cannot it cannot be Jesus saying anything except saying I am God, correct? So if anything I, okay, similar. So if I say to you now I am God, just by saying that, that would be enough for you to accept me to be God, correct? Yeah, sure. Go, but let's go back to. Uh... No, no, no. I'm asking you if I say now I am God <clears throat> Is that would be enough for you to believe that I am God? Of course not. Okay, so when Jesus if Jesus he said I am God That will convince you that he's God or still of course not I'm sorry say that again if Jesus say to you I am God is that to come is that going to convince you That he is God No Okay, so why you Muslims you try always to say show me where Jesus said I am God if that will not change anything for you Anyway, is that just to play a game to avoid the questions or to avoid the uh, a conversation which is embarrassing? No, I can ask the same thing for you Christians if Jesus did not say that then how can you say that Jesus is God? But I just said to you if I show you is that going to say to me say is that going to make a difference for you? No, but I can say the same thing for you Christians. What do you mean? I mean that if you believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, mm. was God mm. in flesh on earth, uh -huh. then why do you believe this if there is no evidence? I can say the same thing for you. Well, I have evidence because the, the, the Bible is confirming that Jesus, he can do things nobody do. You now, got... which Bible are we talking about? The Bible that has been changed or the original Bible? Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, you are changing topics. And now we can, we can go to the Bible with change. If we, go, if we go in the Bible and we say that the Bible is a change, that means the Quran is a stupid book. Because the Quran confirmed all the miracles what Jesus did, including resurrecting people from death. Including... Of course, because so Jesus... The, so why you are saying prophet. to me, why you are saying to me which Bible? So now we have confirmed... We, we have confirmed brother, hold, on, brother, hold on hold on hold on Jesus hold on we have we have Islam. both of us we have Everything we have no 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 hold on you see, I, let, 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 let us go back with what you said I said to you why I will believe that Jesus is God because if he say he's God and he did what God can do that confirmed that he's God and you said to me based on what the Bible which could change I said to you the Quran yes, confirmed Muhammad the, please please well. Muhammad never did a miracle Muhammad never did a miracle don't go so if we go now in the Bible and I show you Jesus saying I am God in the same time Jesus saying clear and doing miracles of God Is that will confirm to you that he is God or not be honest? Brother many prophets did miracles did my friend my God? friend your prophet he did zero miracles and none of them did miracles except Limited to what he can do as an example None of them can forgive sin that is a miracle too. None of them can create it from the mother bird because that's a creation. Nobody can give eyes to a blind man that because that is a creation. Nobody can do what Jesus did. You have a you have a chapter in the Quran it's called the chapter of the ta of the table, which is Jesus, he feed thousands of people from few fish, which means he can multiply fishes, he creates fish. So we have a is that lot Jesus of, or God? This is Jesus, my friend. This is Jesus. This is not your God. God can do nothing. Your God, he's stealing the miracle of Jesus, placing them in the Quran to say, I can do that too. But your God could not do that. Your God said to Muhammad three times, read. Muhammad cannot read the cell. Jesus said to the man, walk. The man walk, but he cannot walk. 
but he made him walk. Your God squeezed Muhammad three times, ordering him to read. Did he make him read? Are you there? I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. Okay. If we go in the Bible, if we go to chapter in Matthew chapter 7, verse number 21, it says, It is not everyone says to me, My Lord, my Lord, who entered the kingdom of the heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father. People, they will say to whom, my Lord? They will say that to Jesus. There we go. He lost connection. Do you hear me, my friend? Brother, okay. brother, I want to thank you for your time, but mm. unfortunately, I have to go. We will continue this another night. No Just problem. Off, I hope you will leave Islam before the before the end of the coming week. Call me back again, and you will leave Islam. You will see. Definitely, we will talk more about this. Definitely, I agree with you. Thank you very coffee. much. Thank you. Thank you. Mari ikut Yesus Mari ke jalan yang benar Tuhan berkati